Hey guys! Welcome back to Pokemon Yellow. Last time we climbed Lavender Tower and uh, met our new best friend. Uh, everybody's favorite meme from like a couple months ago. Grimace the Haunter, who had a really weird cry there. It, can I can I hear that again? It went... Which probably is the sound that your stomach makes whenever you drink one of those Grimace shakes. But either way, after finishing that, got our new team member. And now we got ourselves the Poke Flute, so we'll be prepared for something later in the game that is probably going to be coming up this episode. But either way, we're heading back to Celadon City to go ahead and take on, uh, well, Erica, since we pretty much avoided her this entire time. Though we are going to try and do some of the battles on the way because uh, Coconut still needs to evolve. I'm rambling. I'm a rambling, gambling dude. Are you like, are you like the guy from the beginning of the game, the old man who is like, you know, drunk off his ass? <laughs> you were just rambling to me about how catching Pokemon. So I didn't know you were a gambler. I thought you were a drinker. Which, you know, gambling and drinking, you know, they go together. Not in a good way, though. Either way, let's beat the shit out of your dog using my monkey. That's a weird combo. Let me beat the shit out of your dog by using my monkey. I mean, I've seen videos online of, like, apes and monkeys, like, having pet dogs. Or just, like, monkeys hanging on to dogs. So, eh. Maybe they just know that it's man's best friend, so now it's monkey's best friend. <laughs> I don't know why I'd akin it to that, but, you know... It's been a long day for me. Just let me let me say my weird stuff. I had a ton of homework today. I had like a quiz. I had two discussion boards. I had to write an entire like 10 page paper pretty much. It was really dumb. And I didn't even get one of the papers done, but thank God it's allowed to be late. So it's like, <sighs> we're playing Pokemon Yellow to, uh, I guess, unwind. What do you guys say to me, old man? Miss the big score. Were you gambling on me? Uh, thanks for all your money, also, but were you gambling on me, like, killing you? Which was, you know, a weird way to gamble. You need strategy to win at this. Whatever this is. It, is, is your strategy just to stand here? Wait for me to come around and get your ass beat? Because that is not a very good strategy at all. Super Nerd wants to fuck! Well, I, I'm sure he does, but... He doesn't look like he's seen, like, the sunlight in the last, like... Well, entirety of his life, so I don't know if any people would want to fuck him. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's somebody for everybody. Uh, <laughs> I just go, uh, Brings up my prior relationship, one. Still wonder how anybody would even think that I am attractive enough. That is, that is a wonder. That, uh, she must have been fucked up in the head. I keep making fun of her, but, you know, I shouldn't be like that. <laughs> I shouldn't be like that. I'm just a fucking asshole. What can I do? Also, uh, first muck we've seen. Guys, 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 guys. His name backwards is the Bill of Rights from National uh, Treasure starring Nicolas Cage. I, completely, I, was, I don't know what I was going to say. Isn't that the Bill of Rights? I've never actually seen National Treasure or whatever the fuck it's called. It's it's the movie with Nicolas Cage and he needed to get the the Bill of Rights or was it the dec what, what the Declaration of Independence? I think it was that. <laughs> it was not the Bill of Rights because the Bill of Rights if you're not American then I guess you wouldn't know. But the Declaration of Independence is what the stupid fucking I guess stuck up idiots in Boston sent to uh, like, you know, the king and were like, you know, we gonna be independent now. And then he was like, ah fuck this shit, war. <laughs> or it wasn't really war instantly. It was just kind of like, oh, these guys are fucking stupid. Coconuts is trying to learn focus energy. This move is literally broken in this game. It does not increase your critical hit rate. It decreases it. So we're throwing it the hell out. We don't need it. Besides, we have a move that already like critically hits like, you know, all the time. But yeah, the Bill of Rights is something that's connected to the Constitution, which is, the Constitution is kind of like, uh... Like, the biggest law you can have in America. The Bill of Rights is like an addendum. Where it's like, oh yeah, here's all the rights that people have. Because nobody wrote that into the Constitution uh, originally. They ha it had to be added on. So, yeah. One of those little American history tales. Because I'm going to guess most of my, uh, like, what is it called? 
What? Most of my viewers? Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Most of my uh, community, that's the exact word, uh, are from the U.S. And I'd hope they would know that, but I come across some people who are, like, my age, don't know shit about American history. It's like, it's kind of important, because you fucking live here. It's not logical! Yeah, it's not logical that I gave an American history lesson while I'm playing Pokemon, but, you know, weirder things have happened. See, when Pokemon grow up, they get ugly. They shouldn't evolve. All right, Ash. I think I've beaten all the people here, so therefore, I can't really do anything about that. We're just gonna have to pass back on over to, uh, what is it called? Celadon City. Well, first we gotta pass through, what's this place called again? Saffron City. Everything is named after colors. Wow, that's pretty pog. Anyway, I don't remember where the, was the Pokemon Center all the way at the bottom of the town? I think it was. Also, what the fuck are you doing? What do you want? Get lost. Yeah, this place is like infested with the rockets, so therefore I guess they're just holding people inside of their homes. I don't know what that guy was specifically doing, but maybe he was just being a peeping Tom. Let's see. All right. I, I know the poison shit is annoying, but we're almost at the, uh, what's it called? Poke Center. Poke Center. I don't know why I said it like that. Oh, shit, I completely forgot I should do that. I should also do that other thing. I'm like, I gotta do that, I gotta do that. So, anyway, let's heal up first. Such a classic sound effect to hear. Anyway, we can either go do the gym leader, which might be the best idea because, you know, get it out of the way. Or, we can go do something that's like, Absolutely stupid, but is needed. Uh, I think I've got Pokeballs, and I'm willing to put down another save, so I'm good. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna save the. Ah, uh, well, we can pass on through here. We need to go up here. This is like one of those big areas that you really need to go to, but is not actually required. You need it to get another HM. In fact, I'm probably gonna walk. Let's see, who is our? Hmm. Grimace doesn't know, what is it called, Hypnosis yet. Grimace just knows Psychic and Confuse Ray. Uh, technically, Gorochu has the only status-inflicting move, which is, you know, goddamn, uh, what is it, Thunder Wave. I need to catch a bird. That is not a bird. <laughs> I just see, like, a Rattata dressed up as a Pidgey. It's like, you are not a bird, but thank you for trying. <laughs> you will fly for me. Do it. Technically, you can hack any Pokemon to learn any move, like, by using, you know, uh, what is it called? Game Genie. Yeah, in this generation, I know it is Action Replay, because I grew up with a DS, and the Action Replay was something that I most definitely used when I was a kid. I think I still have it, I just don't know where I kept it. Uh, but, like, you can technically use that to make any Pokemon learn any move, and then you can also just use glitches in the game to do so as well. Uh... How did that work? Okay, weird. I'm like, okay. Anyway, I need to catch you, so it's okay if you paralyze me. I'm just gonna go ahead and chuck this shit in your face. One, two. All right, we're close. We need to lower its health more. But yeah, what was I talking about? This area is like, you know, pretty damn optional, but like, it is something that uh, you should get, because without it, <laughs> you're gonna be fucked. <laughs> He keeps on using Mirror Move, and I don't get that. Well, thank God you're fully paralyzed, but I'm gonna guess you start... You're gonna start throwing out some some quick attacks that are gonna mess me up, so get in the fucking ball. One, two, three. There you go. What shall we call this man? We're gonna call this man something stupid like usual. Yes, Spiro. Yes. Uh, I will name him... Um... Uh, we're gonna name him Tom. <laughs> Why are we naming him Tom? Dad. I just go. Bleh. Also, we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that, but first of all, we need to go over here. There's an old man. How'd you get in? Good effort. Yes. Good on me for breaking into buildings. I didn't really break into a building, but. You know, nobody specifically let me in. Anyway, we need to go over here and talk to this girl. Oh, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. Dio received HMO2. 
HMO2 is fly. It will take you back to any town. Put it to good use. Yeah, that's why we that's why we got Tom Cruise. Or that's why we got Tom and his name is supposed to be fully Tom Cruise because it's Top Gun. Shitty Top Gun reference. Go. Pfft. Anyway, we're also going to go down here and take care of this little fuck. Let's see. Gardner, are you there? There you are. Cut his ass into spades. Anyway, we're going to save right here. This guy is an asshole. Th this is uh, actually Barbara Chandler. And the only way to wake her up is by, uh, I don't know, getting arrested. But anyway, a sleeping Pokemon blocks the way. This is why we needed the Poke Flute. It won't wake up unless we actually use the Poke Flute. Dio played the Poke Flute. Nice little song. We played the eight melodies. <laughs> Snorlax woke up. It attacked in a grumpy rage. Oh, I always attack in a grumpy rage. Whenever Tyler shows up at my house, I literally just lose it and die. Anyway, yep. <laughs> Everybody remembers Snorlax. Uh, we're gonna try and catch him. He's not gonna be part of the crew. But I do need to catch more Pokemon than I have been because I've kind of just been ignoring the whole thing where I, uh, the, the point of the game is you gotta catch them all. Oh, it failed rest? I guess, okay. Oh yeah, it used amnesia. Shit, this thing's pretty much invincible now. It used amnesia. Yeah, god damn it. <laughs> I forgot about that whole little thing where this thing is a god amongst men with its stats. We're just gonna have to hope that it stays asleep. One, okay. Not good. And Gorochu can barely do any damage. Um, who would be best? Gr Grimace? Yeah, Grimace could be good. <laughs> Grimace should be fine. I don't think it has any uh, other attacking moves that are not... What is it called? Uh, normal type? And since normal types can't hit ghost types, this should be the best Pokemon for him to, like, you know, get fucked up on. And if you're wondering how I'm hitting him using Nightshade, it's one of those weird things where the only way that uh, ghost types are allowed to hit normal types is by using Nightshade. So, <laughs> yeah, if I did, like, a ghost type only, like, run, I'd be pretty fucked. But at the same time, because it is set damage, uh, I don't have the chance of killing Snorlax. Damn, he gets good luck with sleep strats. I don't get good luck at all. Can you please stop? <laughs> I'm like, can you please, like, stop? Okay. But yeah, I want to catch this just because, you know, it's Snorlax. It's a really good Pokemon. It's not going to be used for the team, but it's just kind of like for the good of it. Could you... Oh, God. It's 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 getting asshole-ish. You could run away from this thing, uh, but I do want to catch it. <laughs> it's just being a dick right now. Because if I hit it with Psychic, it's not going to do enough damage to really hit through. If I get a crit, it's not going to be good. <laughs> How much damage does one Psychic do to this Snorlax? Yeah. And then it's like, okay, I'm gonna wake up now. And, uh, go back to bed next turn. Not great. Stop it. You're mean. <laughs> You're mean. Die. He's gonna go to bed. Yep, I could guess. If only he would stay asleep for longer. Does Rust, like... Does that lower the amount of sleep move, like sleep turns that you get? Or is like the opponent's Pokemon just got way better luck to wake up than, you know, the player's Pokemon who are like never good at waking up? See, it's like two turns, you're back up. I don't actually know the mechanics of Rust in Gen 1. Therefore, I don't know what to do. Just keeps on getting amnesia. You, you need to knock that the fuck off. My only other idea is to use, uh, what is it, um, um, use coconuts, since coconuts can use, like, a critical hit, and might do a bit more, two, three, okay, good, you got Snorlax, not gonna be used, but I will make a joke out of it, <laughs> nobody will understand this joke unless you, you know. But uh, if you don't know, I pray for you that you never have to know. Uh, 
Barb. Barbara. Barbara. Well, if I didn't spell that correctly, its name is Barbara now, but that should be Barbara. Anyway, yeah, we caught Nor we got Norlax. Yes, <laughs> we caught we caught Miralax, which is a uh, what's that called? Anti-constipation powder. <laughs> yes, we got that. I don't know why we got that. You know, just in case something happened. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, first of all, we gotta throw some Pokemon in... We need to throw Gardener into the deposit box real quick. Because we do need to pick up one Pokemon that we completely forgot about in this town. There is one Pokemon that we get absolutely free. So you get the fuck back into the box, asshole. And then... Uh, should I save first? Yeah, I guess I... Or not save. I meant heal. Because if not, I'd be fucked. Yes. Give you the Pikachu. You give me the the good suck, I guess. I don't want the suck from Chansey, though. I don't want that. All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> if you only offer me suck from Chansey, I leave. That's an instant runaway in fear. Anyway, we need to go behind, I think. It's behind one of these very tall buildings. Ooh, wrong area. Do I need cut? I might need cut. I don't remember. Let me go see. I don't think so? No, I don't. Okay, that's good. Anyway, you need to walk right here. In this very weird space behind the Celadon Mansion, otherwise known as Game Freak Place. You can walk all the way up into this random-ass room. What's this called, anyway? I know everything. Are you sure about that? Anyway, there's this guy who apparently knows everything, but I'm not going to talk to him. Dio got Eevee. Do you want to give a nickname to Eevee? Uh, yeah, everybody knows Eevee, even though it looks like a Tauros right up there. <laughs> horse, horse Eevee. But, uh, yeah, everybody knows Eevee. I just don't know what to name it. Hmm. What should we name Eevee? Um, can't really come up with a name for it. Um, other than just, like, a random, like, human name. Uh, let's just call it... Um... <laughs> My brain is completely blanking. I don't actually know what to call this thing. Uh... Let's go down in my di You know, here's a stupid idea. Let's take Discord... And take, like... Who the new- Who the last person who chatted in the Discord. Hybrid chatted there, so I'm gonna call it Hybrid. Uh, should I... Yeah, I'll call it that. Hi. Because this is definitely also not a part of our team, so. Hi. Hi. B. Hi. Rid. I was seeing if I if I spelled hi bird. <laughs> like, oh, hi there, hi bird. <laughs> anyway, hybrid. Anyway, we'll take this thing the fuck back and throw it in there. Yeah, it's not another team member. If it was, we would have gotten this a lot earlier, but it's at level 20, so it's a pretty good time for it to evolve, because you can actually get all of the evolution stones here in Celadon City, so... That'd be a great time just to instantly evolve it, but, you know, we ain't using it for shit, it's just Eevee. Let's put that stuff back in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try and pick up all of the gift Pokémon, which is what that and the starter Pokémon are called. Pokémon that you're just, you know, given without having to catch them, or even try. All right, hybrid, get in there. You're level 25. That's a pretty high level. Okay, we are going to have to pull Gardner back out, though, since we're going to have to go over to the gym. But I think that, um... I think that Grimace and Sakuya will probably be able to handle it. Sakuya may be less, just because, you know, Sakuya only has Ember. And, uh, probably Grimace will be able to handle it, since most grass types are going to be part poison type. Meaning that he's going to be, like, doing... Pretty damn, pretty damn damage. Pretty damn damage. What's damn damage? It's like when you blow up a fucking dam. Now that's terrorism. We don't like that here. Except for that we like that here. <laughs> Take that out of context, please. YouTube pooped that around to say something that uh, it probably is not good with YouTube guidelines. Anyways, get the fuck around there. You know what would be nice? What if you could just cut down those cut trees and they're gone forever? 
Like, you only ever needed to use Cut once on a tree. I just don't see the point in that, because I just have to bring a Pokemon that uses Cut every time I want to try in this gym. I mean, I know it's got Cut trees in the gym, but still. <laughs> like, why even have those in here? I don't see the point. Mostly just to piss me off. Anyway, we're going to finally fight Erica. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. I have a feeling I've met you before. Have you ever been into a sewer with me? <laughs> Go back and watch the Infinite Fusion playthrough for that. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome, my name is Erica. I am the gym leader of Celadon City. Or, er, gym. <laughs> Whatever, I don't even... I've been asleep for so long, I don't even know what my name is. I, I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. I mean... <laughs> I just point back at my group of, like, pretty high-level Pokemon. Like, uh... I don't think they'll lose either, though. So, you know. Unmovable object versus... Uh, impossible force or whatever. Anyway, level 30 is actually pretty high. Ooh, shit. It's using Bind Tactics. I love that. I don't actually know Binds, uh... Oh, it's got Constrict, too, so Constrict did exist in this generation. Oh, but it's not a binding move, it's just a regular move. Well, thank God. Fuck you. <laughs> You're not, you, you should not be allowed to keep doing that. Yes, use Constrict, I'm fine with that. Weak-ass move that, like, barely does anything. Yeah, <laughs> lower my speed. That's totally not gonna make me, like, do absolutely nothing. I'm already slower than you, there's no point in that. Well, I guess, uh, as long as it doesn't pull off another long bind, uh, if it, if this bind is long, and, uh, it keeps doing it, yeah, Sakuya's fucked, but if not, then, uh, Sakuya will wipe this thing out and get some good experience. Yes, yes, you're stupid. <laughs> I'm like, yes, you're stupid. Burn this fucking spaghetti monster away. We got 1,066. Not enough to make Sakuya level up, though. Yeah, I'm gonna switch the fuck out for that. Um, I could guess it's going to wrap. Grimace is the one thing that will completely destroy something like wrap. Unless it uses sleep powder. Yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, but if it uses wrap, it's, like, it's not gonna be able to hit me. Shit. We should resist this, though, right? Because we're part poison type. Unless it crits. If it does that, then that's cringe. Okay, uh, I thought Grimace was going to be useful. Turns out not. Let's pull out Vanilla and start the murderation. Uh, this might do neutral damage because of the ground typing. Like, 40 damage? That's a lot. This fucking, this Weeping Bell needs to go the fuck away. Go away. I don't like I don't like Razor Leaf. It hurts. It hurts a lot. <laughs> Mostly just because it can crit. I mean it's critting quite a bit. I don't remember like Weeping Bell being a very fast Pokemon, but apparently it was fast enough to like, you know, scare the shit out of me. Man, everybody got a little bit of experience there. Alright, I'm gonna guess I kinda want like vanilla to be sacked in this battle, just because I want other Pokemon to get more experience. Yeah, good job. <laughs> I'm like, good job. But yeah, I'd like her to get sacked so that, like, you know, other Pokemon gets gets experience because she doesn't technically need it right now. She's already at level 34, which is, like, two levels above the enemy. Let's see. Uh, I could try and get in one more double kick. Do a little bit of damage and help out whoever's going to walk into this. Thrashing about. All right. Uh, who should go in? I think maybe Coconuts. Coconuts could get the win and get a lot of experience. Coconuts, you need to become coconuttier. Nuttier. <laughs> are, are you allergic to nuts? Because <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> Sounds like a really shitty pickup line. God damn it, didn't level up. Oh, I can see defeat. I was beaten by your nuts. <laughs> I. You're remarkably strong. I must confer you the rainbow badge. Dio got cash for beating up women, which he does a lot. The rainbow badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. 
Please also take this with you. Dio received TM21. TM21 contains Mega Drain, half the damage that inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. And that's the last we see of her. Well, <laughs> uh, everybody else but Vanilla survived that battle, so I guess that, that's poetry. Vanilla, Vanilla took the shot for everybody. I really thought that uh, what was it? Grimace could come in and like sweep. Uh, it turns out that I just have horrible luck with sleep. I usually do, because the game hates me. So let's go up and down and all around. Let's see. Yes, I will use the Great Ball to cut the tree. I don't think we're going to need Gardener anymore, since I don't remember many cut trees that are left in the game. At least off the top of my head. So I think Gardener Gardener's allowed to take a pretty big rest, since I don't need to use cut for a very long time. Gonna go ahead and drop him off, and we're gonna bring out Tom, since we need to actually start flying around. Yeah, we won't have a team member that is going to be flying type, or we'll be able to learn fly. So, we're gonna have to rely on Tom Cruise. Top Gun reference, go. Let's see, get that shit. And then, uh, I guess we could heal, but, you know, that, that's too cringe. We'll just do whatever the fuck we want. Let's see. Uh, HM2. Contains fly. Can anybody else learn fly? I didn't think so. Tom is trying to learn fly. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter what moves he knows. They're just, they're not gonna be useful. You can... Why is Growl your first move? <laughs> Tom, you're already dog shit, but don't worry. We're all a piece of shit on this team. Except for Vanilla. She's the only one who actually does anything correctly get in the ball, Chew. Technically, you know, there are six balls on, like, the healing board, so technically our Pikachu does go back inside of its Pokeball whenever it needs to get healed, which is kind of like, you know, not correct to the anime, but, you know, it worked. it's fine. They're just trying to get around, like, <laughs> they don't want to have to, like, animate one Pokeball being missing just because one of them doesn't want to be in the ball. Either way, now that we have Fly, we can actually fly back to Pallet Town, Viridian City, Cerulean City, Lavender Town, Vermilion, uh, Celadon, Saffron, so... We can pretty much go anywhere, but we want to go back to Cerulean City. So we missed an item that we really shouldn't have missed. We don't technically need, but I'd say we need it. Let's go ahead and go back into the PC, because I need to take out something that we had. Let's see, withdraw, and you look for the bike voucher. I never got the bike. <laughs> we just kind of, like, ignored it because we didn't really care about it. You don't technically need it because there's a way to get around having to need the bike. It's just like, you know, it does make traversing stuff a lot easier. Let's see, go up and talk to this guy. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. Dio, exchange the bike voucher for a bike. Yeah, the, the bike voucher we got all the way back in Vermilion. We could have just, you know, gotten it on our way back from Vermilion to Cerulean, but whatever. It does make traversing a whole lot easier. So, hmm. Should we do something fun? <laughs> I'm like, should we do something fun? You know, I think it'd be fun. Uh, we're going to do something that's like really stupid, but we plan to do, like, at the beginning of the game, so, uh, we're gonna be doing something you're not supposed to be able to do, or get access to at all in this game. We are getting a legendary Pokemon very, very early, so, there's a reason why we left some of the trainers up here in Cerulean, you know, alive and standing, so, what you gotta do first, make sure you save at that Poke Center, then, Either have fly or dig or teleport, which is a move that can send you back to this exact same Pokemon Center. This is going to be something that is called the Trainer Fly Glitch. Yes, these games are known for being horribly glitchy and, uh, you know, break pretty much everything because this whole game was made on a shoestring budget. So the entire reason why we wanted this one random person to be still fightable is because of this. So, I've never actually done this before. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this. So as you can see, that person is off screen. 
what we need to do is, right as we move into this person's field of view, we need to walk in and press start. So, I did not get it right that time. Let me see. If you don't get it right, you reset the game. This, this is going to be much harder since uh, we have the controller that, you know, <laughs> is not the best at its job of actually being responsive. But we're going to get this to work. As you can see, there's a reason why we save before we do it. It's because it can... Yeah, it's, it's very unresponsive for me. It's nice to lean over and just, you know, kick my <laughs> Super Nintendo whenever I need the game to reset. We might not be able to pull this off this time. I hope we can. Because I'd like to be able to. I'd like to make this work. Because I've never actually done it before. But it's a pretty cool thing that, well, you can only do in the old games. Okay, so we pulled it off. Now, with them looking at us in range to actually call us in for a fight... What you gotta do is you gotta get the fuck away from me. You fly away, go specifically to Cerulean City. So you can see they take note of you, and then you fly off. So now, you can't open your start menu. You cannot do anything. You can't even really talk to anybody. So what you gotta do now is you walk all the way around. Over to a trainer that we left alone, because, well, eh, we didn't give a shit about him. <laughs> we didn't give a shit about him whatsoever, but he is actually super important for this. So, you go ahead and walk all the way around town. Now, that was a trainer fly glitch, and it works for a lot of different things. This is a completely different glitch, so you need to be away from this guy that we left alone. You need him to come to you. Dad took me to a great party on SSN at Vermilion City. That shit already took off, but then again, we are in the, you know, fuckhead zone. This will not break your game at all, this glitch that we're doing. So, don't worry about it. Uh, this youngster has a slowpoke. Very weird, messed up slowpoke, but don't worry about it. We just need to murder it. Just need to kill him. Which shouldn't be too hard now that we're, you know, pretty high leveled in the game, but... Then again, Sakuya might not be able to do it just because, well, she sucks right now. Don't you dare. I don't think it has water gun. Just has confusion. It might knock us out. <laughs> might knock out Sakuya. I don't actually know what that would do for the glitch. I know we need to knock this person out pretty damn easily. Come on. Nah, you need to knock that shit off. Burn yourself to death, you asshole. But yeah, we need to defeat this guy with the slowpoke. The reason we have to do this guy in specific is because of his slowpoke. His slowpoke has a very special thing about it. it. Is the entire reason why we need him in specific. God damn. Sakuya, how could you be doing this? How could you be failing us like this? <laughs> it's like, damn. Finally, you're no longer confused, but you're going to die soon, so. Big sad, Sakuya, big sad. Either way, I don't think that matters. All that matters is you defeat the Pokemon that's in front of you, so I don't know. Go Gorochu. Get some extra experience. We don't want to use coconuts because I don't know what evolving would do. So, now that we killed that Slowpoke, I'm not mad. Oh, uh, you made me very happy. There's a reason why you need him to walk to you. There's a reason why we use that Slowpoke. So now you have access back to your stuff. What you gotta do is you gotta fly back to Cerulean City. I'm gonna go here. And all we gotta do now is walk across the bridge. And something very interesting happens. So let's go ahead and go up this way. He's gotta cross Nugget Bridge. Something very interesting happens if I got this thing to work correctly. The start screen's jumped up without me ever doing anything. Press B to close it. Oh shit, it's an encounter. Man, I wonder who it's gonna be. A wild Mew appeared. 
So, this is Mew. The legendary Pokemon that is actually inaccessible in this game. This thing is meant to be what is called a mythical Pokemon. A Pokemon that is unobtainable in the regular game, but is a very powerful Pokemon. You can't actually get Mew at any point in this game regularly. The only way you could get it is if you were traded it during an event, like when you went to, I don't know, like a toy shop or a Toys R Us or anything like that. You would go there, and this thing would be traded to you. But there are ways to get it by glitching the game. The reason why we use that Slowpoke is because it has a very specific special stat that makes it so that the Pokemon that appears here is Mew. Alright, Mew was caught. Yeah, we got the Pokemon that you're not supposed to have. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to, you know, show off that this is something that's possible. We're not going to be using this Mew, just because, well, we kind of cheated it. Also, we don't need it. But we are going to get it just because we want it. Mew, new species. When viewed through a microscope, the Pokemon's short, fine, delicate hair can be seen. So what should we name it? We're going to call it... I'm going to call it Eve. There you go. Eve was transferred to Bill's PC. Yeah, that's the entire way of getting Mew. There's no actual way to do it within game, but there is a way to glitch it in, so. I want to show off that that's something that I was going to do, because usually when I do these mainline Pokemon playthroughs, I'm usually trying to not trying to catch them all. I'm trying to catch just uh, the legendaries, because those are kind of fun to catch. They're the ones that are the, the hardest or, like, have the weirdest strategies of getting. And, well, Mew most definitely hits both of those banners, so. Very nice that we have Mew. It's not a Pokemon you're supposed to even have access to other than by getting it from event, but damn do we have a Mew. It's all the way at number 151. <laughs> and uh, it is talked about during the game when you go to a certain part of the game, but, like, there's no actual way of getting it. There's actually no way of getting it in pretty much any game other than by event. But this is the one way to get it. Data. <laughs> damn. That's cool to have. Definitely going to be interesting. So, now that we've got all that done, we're going to actually just fly somewhere else. No, Gorochu, we don't need your help. <laughs> Sad that Sakuya died, but I guess it shows that you don't technically need your Pokemon to beat the other Pokemon, to beat the Slowpoke without dying. So it's fine. Guys, I can't see. Guys, I can't see. Guys, it hurts. I think we just fucked something up. Mew, why did you do this to us? Well, I guess I fucked the game up somehow. Hopefully the game is fine. Uh, <laughs> you like white? I like white too. I don't actually know what's going on. Hopefully the game is fine. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to do that Mew glitch again, but that's cool that we were even able to do it in the first place. So next time on Pokemon Yellow, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start going to the next gym. So, yeah. And before I end this episode, I want to thank all of my YouTube members, including the Disciples of Epsilon, Trey Lafari, Gray, Phoenix, Shell Bagan and Hummus, Darcy Lanfranco, Freddy, and Yuki. Without you all, this channel wouldn't stay afloat. So thank you for all your support, and I'll see you guys next time!